We're going to take a look at this gas range. The oven is not working all the time. Sometimes it starts to warm up, you hit bake, temperature rises, you think it's working, and then you check the temp and it's uh, not hot inside. And this happens every once in a while. We're going to take a look at a few things and uh, first let's see if we can recreate the problem. Because it's intermittent, I don't know if we can. Okay, right here is where the gas comes out of and the little starter spark is inside there. Let me do broil. Let's turn it on. And uh, I don't think you're going to see any flames because I don't think it's bright enough, but let's see what happens here. Yeah, you can see the flames. Okay, well, it's working now, which doesn't help for the video, but we're going to take this part anyway. I don't want it to get too hot because then I can't work on it. I have to wait for it to cool. So first thing I'm going to do is just take out the racks. And next, this lower pan, you undo these screws. You don't have to take the screws out, but just loosen them. Oh, this is still already kind of hot. Ow. Almost, it's like hot cement, hot summer cement. Okay, this is probably a lot hot, hotter than that. I'm going to need a screwdriver. Okay, they might be off camera, but there's two screws right here to take out. And then we can remove this plate. Okay, it's not cool, but it's probably cool enough. So I'm going to pull this plate, pull it forward to release the front pins. There we go. It, it kind of fits in almost a little bit like a puzzle piece back there. Almost too hot, but it's, it's okay. All right. I don't pull it. You don't want to pull the wires too hard here. Let's take a look down there. See that uh, hole right there? That's where the gas comes out. You want to make sure there's nothing clogging that or blocking that. If so, get a little pin or something and uh, clear it out. That way the gas can flow unrestricted. Also here, Again, make sure all these ports are open. And uh, apparently someone was saying there's a new um, up, updated model of this um, burner here that will have more holes in it. So some people are just drilling holes in theirs to get better uh, flow. But you wanna make sure this little igniter as well is uh, clean and clear. Apparently from what I read, and I'm not that smart about these things, but this also transmits a signal back to the control board, which tells the control board that it's getting hot at the right temperature and that things are working. So this doesn't just spark, it uh, transmits back. However that works, I don't know, but let's uh, clean this up a little bit and see if the oven works. This should come off, this little connector. I don't want to break anything. There we go. Oh, lovely. <laughs> don't let that happen. Oh, there it is. You don't want that to go too far down. Okay, so we can work on this on the counter. That's a little easier. And I'm just going to take off some of the oxidization on here and we'll see if that helps. Fold it around there. There we go. Here you can see close up. It's not shiny or anything, but I just took off some of the worst bits of the um, build up. Okay, one more thing. This, I was looking down inside, and it has a lot of buildup, almost like an air duct. 
has all that dust that collects on the inside. So I'm going to take this to the air compressor and blow some air in here, high pressure air, and see if I can clear out some of this. Remember there are two of these. There's one at the top as well. It's hiding right up there. So I'm going to take off this one and clean that with some sandpaper too. By the way, if you really don't want to take all this off or don't have a screwdriver or something, you can just try and loop a piece of sandpaper. This is a bit still too, too wide around it like this. There we go. And just sand it like that. If you do happen to, if like me, you do happen to drop that wire through the bottom, you can take out your drawer and uh, this will give you a good chance to clean out all this nasty stuff anyway. And how did an otter pop get down here? I don't know. You don't know? You didn't do it? Mm -mm. Okay. And just shove it right back up. Okay, now that that top and bottom is cleaned off, I can put it all back together and we'll test the oven out. And by the way, this is the temperature probe. Here's where it uh, communicates back to tell the internal temperature of the oven. Okay, everything you just saw in this video leading up to right now was filmed well over a year ago. And I actually filmed all that, but forgot to um, upload it. It was stuck on a card and I just left it. This oven has been working fine since, so I gotta say those repairs did work. Over a year, that's a good uh, test run for all of this. So anyway, if you have those same kind of problems with your oven, hopefully if you do what I did, it'll help you out and you can get it working again. Anyway, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer.